All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to do something super, super useful. Namely, I wanna find the matrix of a linear transformation which just rotates points in the plane by theta radians, counterclockwise. And this also illustrates why it's so useful to find matrices of linear transformations and how to find them. Well, again, how do you find a matrix of a linear transformation? And by the way, I'm assuming it's a linear transformation. Uh, something would have to prove separately, but To find a matrix of a linear transformation, all you have to do is calculate t of 1, 0 and t of 0, 1. In other words, all you need to figure out is what happens to 1, 0 and 0, 1 if you rotate it counterclockwise by theta radians. So let's do that. And here a picture is worth a thousand words. So again, you have, let's say, the unit circle. And I choose a unit circle because we have 1, 0, and 0, 1. And the question is then, what happens if I rotate 1, 0 by theta radians? Then we get a new point here. So this is theta, and we get this new point, t of 1, 0. And what we would have to figure out is simply the x-coordinates of the new point and the y-coordinates of the new point. But notice this is not too bad to find because we indeed get a right triangle here. So we have this right triangle and the x-coordinate, it's simply the base of the triangle, and the y-coordinate is the height of the triangle. Now, what more do we know about that triangle? Well, one zero that has length one, and a useful thing about rotation is that it preserves length. So if you rotate this point, this length will still be the same, hence it will be one. So we have a tri right triangle with angle theta and hypotenuse 1. Well, from the Soka Toa formula, it then just follows that this base is cosine theta and this height is sine theta, just like polar coordinates. And again, if you want the derivation, it's simply you know, uh, cosine theta is this over 1, which just becomes cosine theta. And sine theta is this over 1, which, so this is just sine theta. So in particular, t of 1, 0 is just x-coordinate and y-coordinate, so cosine theta and sine theta. And this gives us the first column of our matrix. The question now is, what happens if you rotate 0, 1? And here's something interesting going on. And look very carefully at this picture. We would like to figure out the x-coordinate of this point and the y-coordinate of this point. But look at the lengths. The length of here, the length of the x-coordinate, is actually really similar to this one. In fact, it's identical. And you can just think of rotating this triangle to the, get this triangle. And the y-coordinate is actually very similar to this one as well. In other words, what's interesting is the y-coordinate of this new point becomes the x-coordinate of the old point. So to figure out what t of 0, 1 is, well, again, it's the same thing. The hypotenuse becomes 1. And to figure this out, either you use the color codes, so proof by color, or again, use Sokatoa, cosine of theta, 
is this over 1, which is just this. So this is just cosine theta. So careful, the y coordinate of your new point is cosine theta. So the second component is cosine theta. What about the x coordinate? Well, if you want to use again soka toa, a sine of theta is this over this. So technically, lengthwise, it becomes sine of theta, but just one little technicality. Notice here the y coordinate is positive. Well, here the x coordinate should be negative. That's why it's not quite sine theta, it's minus sine of theta. <clears throat> So literally, beware of the minus sign. Cool. And finally, how do you get the matrix of your linear transformation? You just put the two columns together. So cosine theta, sine theta. And minus sine of theta, cosine theta. <laughs> Wonderful. And just a couple of remarks. How do you memorize this? Because of course on an exam you can't just be like, oh, let me draw the circle, figure out what's going on. There's actually an easy way of doing this. You start with cosine and sine, and then you just differentiate. So suppose you want to find this. A is cosine theta, sine theta. To find the second column, you differentiate cosine to get minus sine, and you differentiate sine to get cosine. And that's where you get. <clears throat> and also, a nice way of checking if your answer is correct, so more or less, is check if the determinant is one. So rotation is what's called, I think, a unitary transformation. So the determinant is plus or minus one. Well. If you do this, cosine squared plus sine squared, the determinant is indeed one. That's a way of checking if you have the wrong order or something. Lastly, let me just give you a concrete application. So what if theta is pi over four? So what is rotation by pi over four? Technically, cosine of pi over four, sine of pi over four, Again, minus sine of pi over 4 and cosine of pi over 4. Well, that just becomes, you know, 1 over square root of 2, 1 over square root of 2, minus 1 over square root of 2, 1 over square root of 2. So, what are new coordinates that rotate the plane by a pi over 4? Well, it's simply x prime y prime equals to a x y which becomes 1 over square root of 2 minus 1 over square root of 2, a 1 over square root of 2, 1 over square root of 2, x, y, which if you like just becomes 1 over square root of 2, uh, x minus y, and 1 over square root of 2, x plus y. So how cool is that? So if you rotate the plane by pi over 4, you get the new plane x prime y prime. In particular, for example, is a cool question, how would you find, uh, how would you say like the equation of a rotated ellipse is? Well, um, for example, here it would be, suppose it's, you know, of this form, then it would be, I think, uh, x squared, over, so x prime squared, let me check, over 2 plus y prime squared equals 1. Let me just check, so if y prime, yep, if y prime is 0, we do get this uh, tilted thing. And the question is, how can you write it in terms of x and y? It's simply this. Then you just get, you know, 1 half x minus y squared over 2 plus 1 over square root of 2 
x plus y squared equals 1. And then you can just solve this for x and y. And vice versa, sometimes it helps you find equations for an ellipse where, where, which is not the standard ellipse. And I don't know if you took sort of conic sections, but that's basically how you get all those nasty formulas. It's just with rotation matrices. And there is also another video specifically on conic sections if you're interested. Um, so I hope you like this little rotation excursion. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.